And everyone will need a towel, dish towel, something handy that you probably can run over and grab from your kitchen. Um, and I think we're ready to roll. So if at any point you're um, feeling like what I'm suggesting doesn't work for your body this morning, okay, just skip it. Um, the most important thing today is really just to take care of yourself and let your body be the guide. So um, also because I can't see you and uh, come over and give you specific directions, this is really just like a loose um, guide to some moves that you would see in one of my classes in person. So we're going to start with the towel about at your bra line right below your uh, shoulder blades, kind of like the back of a corset. We're gonna go ahead and lay down with that towel behind our ribs. And for this exercise, you probably don't really need to look at the screen. So I invite you to either send your gaze straight up towards the ceiling, or you can close your eyes. So I'm holding on to either end of the towel and I'm just giving a little bit of tension around the back of my rib cage. We're gonna inhale and allow your breath to expand into your back ribs. Exhale, start to pull your navel towards your spine. There won't be really any movement in the torso. It's just gonna feel like you're giving your abdominal wall a big bear hug with your muscles. Inhaling again, letting the rib cage expand into that towel. And exhaling to let the navel draw towards the spine. A couple more times like that. Inhale. Trying to use your coordination to send your breath into that towel. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Now we're gonna inhale, let the ribs get wide. So now we're trying to expand our breath more sideways, kind of like an accordion being pulled in two directions. And as you exhale, you're gonna try to keep your ribs wide but draw your abdominal wall down. Inhaling, let the ribs get wide. Exhale, keep the ribs wide, but see if you can draw your abdominal wall down. Takes a bit, of, bit more coordination there. One more time, inhale, let the ribs expand. Then exhale. Draw the navel down, draw the ribs down. Keep that width in your rib cage. Go ahead and draw your low back towards the floor. So we're coming into a pelvic tuck or a pelvic curl here. Drawing the pubic bone towards the navel and the low back towards the mat. Then send your pelvis the other direction. So rocking your pelvis away from you, allowing the weight to come more to your tailbone. And again, rocking the pelvis towards you and rocking it away. Going at your own pace. And if you're new to Pilates, this might feel, uh, this movement might feel a little mysterious at first. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Keep sending that message down to your, to your pelvis. It'll get there. And our goal here is to allow the pelvis to move by engaging those deep low ab muscles and keeping the glute muscles and the leg muscles pretty turned off. So your rock might be small or it might be big today. We're gonna start to press our feet into the mat. We're gonna keep that scoop in your belly. So your low back is pressing into the mat. I'm wrapping my towel actively around my rib cage so that I can feel my breath continue to expand into that towel. 
So I'm really opening on my backside. My whole back and my low back are spreading wide. Right leg comes up to tabletop. Left leg comes up to join. So if you're used to coming to my classes, you know I usually work in neutral. This morning we're gonna start an imprinted spine. Low back keeps pressing into the floor. I'm gonna find my little Pilates V, which basically just means my feet are in a little frog position, knees apart. And you're gonna send your legs out at a little diagonal. Exhale, inhale to drop back in. Exhale to press out. Inhale, bend the knees back in. If you can, see if you can keep that sensation of drawing the low back towards the mat as you press your feet away from you. If this bothers your low back at all, send your feet higher up towards the ceiling, right? And that might even give you a nice little hamstring stretch, and that's great. So the whole goal here is to try to find some stability in the pelvis while we're moving the legs. Let's inhale with the knees in, exhale to press it out. Couple more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, we're gonna keep the legs out there. We're just gonna lower them a couple inches and then draw them back up. Lowering a couple inches and lifting back up. And I can even, I'm watching myself in the camera and I'm noticing I'm moving way more than a couple inches. So this is just as much for me as it is for you this morning. So try to make it a small movement. If you started with your legs higher up towards the ceiling, right? You're just gonna lower down a couple inches and then go back up towards the ceiling. For those of you who are a little bit more intermediate or advanced, you can start with your legs a little lower, right? Try to keep your low back connected to the mat. That's sort of the key here. We're almost there, breathe. Three, and two, and one. Bend those knees all the way in. Go ahead and release your towel. Grab onto both of your knees and just pull them towards your armpits. Feel how you get that extra stretch in your low back because your tailbone is extra curled now. We're gonna do one of my favorite exercises. It's called the flop. And I think it feels really good. And it's um, a great training for sequential movement in your spine, which in a functional world, we need that sequential movement through the spine. So hands on your knees. You're gonna open your knees to one side and you're basically just gonna roll over to one side, little flop. And then open your knees and flop the other way. And as you flop side to side, see if you can allow your body to move a little bit more sequentially. So it doesn't have to be a super, it doesn't have to be a super blocky movement. Notice if your legs maybe go first, then your torso, then your head, legs, torso, head. And again, don't worry about looking at me right now. This is a good moment to just check in with your own body. Notice if you feel any unnecessary tension in any spots. And just invite that sequential movement of legs, torso, head. One more time in each direction. Should feel good. Awesome. And then we'll come onto our backs again. And we're gonna just take that towel, we'll lift it out from underneath our back. And now we're gonna place it underneath our head. And I have it pretty much at the base of my skull. So it's not super high up. I really feel like if I have it at the base of my skull, then I create this lovely little hammock for my head. And then my neck muscles can chill out in the next exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and find that imprinted spine again. 
So a little scoop through the belly, reach your low back towards the floor. Now, if you know that your printed spine is no bueno for your back, find neutral. Don't worry, we'll get to neutral later. But for right now, if you need neutral, you can be there right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my towel and the strength of my arms and my abs to help float my head up. In this little head float, I'm trying to pull my abdominal wall in. So I'm trying to draw my navel deeper towards my spine rather than letting my belly muscles pooch out and then rest the head down. Let's use our breath. So we'll inhale to prepare, exhale, blow it out. Scoop into your belly, feel the ribs drop down towards your hip bones and then rest the head back down. So if you're new to Pilates, you can take this nice and slow, right? Moving so that your body has a chance to sort of integrate what I'm asking you to do. If you've been doing Pilates for a while, you might pick up the speed just a little bit. Nothing crazy. We're not like head thrashing or anything this morning. And we're just allowing that front abdominal wall to wake up. Good, using your breath. So you're exhaling to come up, inhale to come back down. Exhale to curl up, inhale to come back down. On this next one, we're gonna curl up and hold here. See if you can keep that low back connected to the floor. We're gonna march the legs one at a time. As you march, just take inventory of your body for a minute. Notice if you have any unnecessary tension in your neck or in your jaw. Put all the effort down into your rib cage, all the effort down into your low belly, drawing down and in towards the mat. Keep breathing. Almost there for four, four, three, Three, can you curl up one more inch? Two, two, one, and one. Rest it down, awesome. Open your arms out to a T position. Allow your knees to fall to the right, coming into a nice juicy twist, opening the front of the left shoulder. And knees go to the left. Gentle twist, not needing to force anything this morning. Just taking a couple breaths into the front of that right shoulder. And coming back to center. Arms are down at your sides. We're gonna use that scoop to get into our hamstrings and glutes now. So rolling bridge, press your arms down into the floor, scoop the belly, roll the spine, up into a Pilates bridge. So Pilates bridges are a little different than a yoga bridge. Rather than popping the ribs open, like you might see in a yoga class, we're actually gonna work on keeping that abdominal wall really connected. So the front ribs are dropping down towards the hip bones. From here, we're gonna try to roll down through the spine nice and slow and sequentially. Scooping through the belly, laying each vertebra down one at a time, until you reach your sacrum and your tailbone at the bottom. So now we're finding neutral at the bottom rather than just pressing our low back into the floor. Inhale to prepare, exhale, scoop your belly, roll the spine up to that bridge, use your glutes, use your hamstrings, keep your front ribs connected, inhale at the top, exhale, roll it down. Finding neutral at the bottom, inhale to prepare. Exhale, press your feet down into the floor. Feel all 10 toes reaching down into the mat. Your heel, the ball of your foot, the outer edge of your foot, and roll it back down. Okay, on this next bridge, we're gonna hold it up there. Here we go, scoop the tail, roll it up. So find the height of your bridge that feels appropriate to your back. 
So if being just a couple inches off the floor is what feels the best for you today, that's fine. Otherwise, we're lifting up, trying to really squeeze your bum, press your arms into the floor. We're gonna float the right leg to tabletop. Now, a prerequisite for this is just transferring your weight over to your left leg, right? And just feeling that. Otherwise, right leg floats up. And then right leg floats down. Transfer your weight over to your right leg. Either stay there or left leg floats up to tabletop. And floats back down. So we're continuing to shift our weight from leg to leg, floating a leg if you want, and then reaching it back down. As you do this, notice that you have a tendency to want to drop one hip bone as you shift your weight over or as you lift your leg up. See if you can keep both hips nice and even. All right, here we go. We're gonna shift weight. Lift a leg up, float it down. Shift your weight, lift a leg up, float it down. All right, you're either staying with me or you're going a little bit quicker into more of a march, right? So right away, we're marching, 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 or shift, lift, lower, shift, lift, lower. Keep going, keep breathing. We've got one more on each side for those of us who are going slow. If you're marching, you just keep marching, keep going. Good, press both feet into the floor. Lift your pelvis up maybe a tiny bit higher. And let's roll it down one vertebra at a time, melting down through the heart, through the ribs, through the waist, down till you feel your low back on the floor, then your sacrum, then your tail. Nicely done. Hug your knees in towards your Armpits, give yourself just a little rock from side to side. You're either gonna roll to one side and walk yourself all the way up to seated or rock and roll yourself from head to tail until you come all the way up. Go ahead and flip yourself around so you're on all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna use that imprinted spine scenario to find our cat back today. So we're rounding through the tail. And then that roundness creeps up to my back ribs. My shoulder blades stay down, but I allow my head to drape down towards the floor. Scoop through the belly actively. So I'm, I'm pulling my ribs in in order to stretch my back. Go ahead and send your spine in the opposite direction, kind of like cow in yoga. But we're gonna keep that sensation of the belly button drawing up and in. So it's a supported position. Reach the heart forward, send your gaze forward. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, scoop into your cat. And reach. Looking forward and looking under. Looking forward and looking under. So allowing your eyes to inform your spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale to curl. Keep going if you're new to Pilates. You're gonna keep your knees on the ground and stay with this movement. Otherwise, tuck your toes, float your knees one inch off the floor. Round your back into your cat. Keep your knees hovered. Reach into your extension. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Try to get your back to really round here. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And reach, heart reaching through your chest. One more time, scoop. And Reach, lower your knees down, untuck your toes, press back into a child's pose. Your torso can fall between your thighs, coming all the way down.
Great, coming back up onto all fours. I'm shifting my knees back underneath my hip bones and my hands underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna send my left leg back long. It's just touching the floor right now. As I send my leg long, I'm also gonna send energy out through the crown of my head, allowing my shoulder blades to drop down my spine so my neck is long. From here, lift that leg up, lower it down. As you lift the leg up, notice if you have a tendency to wanna move through the spine. See if you can find some stability now. So here's where that sensation of drawing that front abdominal wall up and in is really helpful. We're gonna keep this little toe tap going. And I'm just gonna remind you of your breathing again. So every inhale expands into your backside ribs. Every exhale allows your belly to draw up and in, keeping that width in your rib cage. Nice. Now, beginners, you're gonna stay with this movement, but now you're gonna add a little knee float and send that leg out. And out. Okay, level twos, level threes. You're gonna hover your right hand and your left knee off the floor. So already that takes a bit of balance to hover the right hand and left knee off. And then as the leg goes out, the right arm goes out to the side. I know you guys can't really see. I'm gonna turn myself around. Right? So opposite arm and leg are reaching. And then they come back to a hover. Notice if your pelvis wants to like do a little hula dance. Take the hula out, find some strength and stability in your spine, find some breath. We're almost there. For four, three, two, one. Now, beginners, you're gonna join us. So your right leg is Sorry, left leg is back, right arm is out to the side. Here, little baby pulses up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the leg up, lower just the arm down, bend the knee, pull the heel towards the sit bone, extend it out. Bend the knee, pull it in. Extend it out. I know you might be feeling your right hip or your right glute because that's your stabilizer here. So we're trying to get that left leg to work in movement and the right leg to work in stability. Keep going for four and three, two, one, keep that leg bent. Flex your foot like you're trying to push the ceiling away. Little pulses up, up, up. Oh my gosh, up. Draw your abs in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your left leg up. Drop your right elbow down, right? Now I'm gonna allow my knee to open out, it's still bent, and lower back down. It opens out and lowers back down. So we'll turn this way again, you guys can keep going. Open and down. Okay, so for lack of a better image here, this is like the dog peeing on the fire hydrant, right? Or it could be like a ballerina in uh, attitude or arabesque. Either way, the glutes are working, right? I don't know about you guys, but both of my glutes are on fire. We're gonna keep going for four and three and two. 
Last one. Now we're gonna straighten that left leg out. Pull that knee towards your left armpit. Straighten it out. Pull it towards your left armpit. Breathe. We're almost there, I promise. Keep going. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. Bring it all the way down. From here, come back to all fours and just wiggle waggle your head and tail side to side. Head and tail moving side to side. Loosen up the shoulders. Loosen up the spine. Okay, we get to do the other side. Woo! -hoo. So we start with that nice solid neutral spine. Pull your shoulders down. Send your right leg back long now. Lift it up and down. Okay, this side is always harder because it's already worked. It's been our stabilizer, now it gets to move. So beginners, you're gonna stay with a little knee bend and extend. Knee bend and extend. Intermediate or maybe advanced. Hover your right knee and your left hand off the mat and extend it out from your center. Back to your hover. Extend it out. Try to let those shoulder blades slide down your back. Try to draw your belly button up and in away from gravity. Breathe. Let's go for six. And five. And four. Three. Two. One. Great, keep your leg up. Lower your hand down. We're gonna go ahead and bend that knee in, extend it up. Bend it in, extend it up. If you notice your low back is bothering you, just lower your leg down a little bit. It's all good. Otherwise, you're gonna try to keep that height in your right thigh bone. I know, it's so hard to lift your leg up as you bend it. Keep going for four, three, two, one. Keep it bent, pulse it up, up like you're pushing the ceiling away. Up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that knee up. Drop your left elbow down. Here we go. This is the, the real pisser, as, we, as we'll say. The knee comes down, and then I bring it up. Open the hips out. So I'm not making my torso stay square here. I'm allowing both of my hip bones to turn slightly to the right. As I try to lift that leg back and up. Back and up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Come on, right glute. Four. Three, two, one. Now we extend it out. So straighten your right leg, pull your right knee towards your right armpit, and press it back. And press. Draw your belly in. Keep your neck long. Press. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it all the way down. Go ahead and press back into a child's pose here. Your arms can either be reaching out in front of you, or my favorite is to bend my elbows 
and make a little resting place for my forehead. Stay here, take a couple breaths into your back. Great, let's roll on up. We're gonna come to our right side. So working on little side bending for the spine. We're just gonna start with our knees bent, right hand on the mat, and I have it away from my uh, torso a little bit, like a little A-frame underneath me. I'm gonna scoop some space up with my left arm and just find a nice stretch, a little side bend, opening up the left ribs, and then coming back down. A little stretch, and then coming back down. Okay, we're gonna add on to this. Press into your right hand, press into your outer edge of your right calf and your right thigh. We're gonna lift up, finding a little stretch on your left side, and then lower back down. Good. Reaching out and up. Push that right arm into the floor. Use all those shoulder stabilizers in your right arm. Let's use our breath. Let's exhale <sighs> to come up. Inhale to come back down. Exhale on the effort. <sighs> and coming back down. Now that you got the hang of this, right, we're going to use our eyes to track our hand as it reaches up and over. So see if you can follow your fingertips with your eyes. Beginners, you're gonna stay with this version of this exercise. Advanced intermediate, extend both legs, allow your left leg to be slightly behind your right as you lift your whole hips and legs off the mat. Exhale, and continuing to follow the movement with your eyes for three, two, and one more. Very good. Bend your knees in, pull your ankles tight towards your bum. We're going to give that right side a counter stretch. Breathing into the side ribs on the right. Great, let's swivel the legs around to do the other side. So we get ourselves up, get ourselves set up with our A-frame. And we're pressing our outer legs into the floor, scooping the space up to lift the hips. Now, if you feel like even this is too much, stay with that first little version of this stretch. Trying to get the ribs to move side to side. Getting that spinal movement is so important for our low backs, our necks, everything. Otherwise, you're lifting your hips up and lowering down. Adding the challenge of tracking your fingertips with your eyes which for extended computer time, extended screen time, um, which we're all experiencing, it's really important to track movement through space. Tracking with your eyes. Beginner, stay with that. More advanced, extend your legs. Send your right leg slightly behind your left. And up we go. Let's go for three. Exhale. Two, and one. Come on down, bend those knees. Give yourself a nice counter stretch, opening up the left side. Great, coming back to all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna to try to keep our neutral spine here. So that means that I could balance 
like a teacup on my sacrum, right? So rather than scooping the tail and flattening the lumbar curve, I'm trying to keep my lumbar curve and send my tail back a little bit. From here, go ahead and send one leg out, tuck the toes. Great. I'm gonna have my right leg extended. My left knee is bent. So I'm gonna push into the floor and try to lift my left knee off. Just a little hover and then back down. Lift it off and back down. Beginners, you can stay with this movement or more intermediate or advanced, hover your knee, send that leg straight out, pull it back in and lower it back down. So whatever you're choosing to do, I want your gaze to be directly down towards your mat. Don't look at me. It's just gonna screw up your neck. <laughs> just to be blatantly honest, look down at your mat, right? So your head is in line with your spine. So beginners, we're working on just a little hover and back down. More advanced, we got three more. Two. And one. Great. Go ahead and bring both knees underneath you. Don't worry, we're going to switch sides in a minute. But I want us to come up to a kneeling position and just flamingo your wrists out for a sec. Give your wrists a little break. Okay, roll your shoulders up, back and down a couple times. And let's try the other side. Hands underneath your shoulders. This time my left leg is gonna extend back, okay? I'm tucking my left toes, nice neutral spine, belly button in, I'm hovering the knee and bringing, back, bringing it back down or hover, reach, hover and lower. So whatever you're choosing to do, try to make it successful, right? So if you notice that you're losing your stability in your torso or that your shoulders are creeping up to your ears, right? You can make the movement really small, right? Just that little moment of engaging through the core. Keep going, my friends. Breathe. For three. And two. And last one. Great, lower the knees down, coming back up to that kneeling position, rolling the wrists around. Good, roll your shoulders around. Keep rolling your shoulders around for me. Just doing a little time check, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna find our towel. Ta-da! And I'll face this way. So um, this would be like a chest expansion on the reformer, if you're familiar with that. So getting our back and our shoulders to work here. Now, if being on your knees is a problem, you could come down to your um, heels or you could put a little pillow or an extra blanket underneath your knees to come to kneeling. So I have my towel in front of me. My knuckles are facing forward. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my shoulder blades back and down. Go ahead and reach both arms forward. Exhale, get taller to reach your towel down to your thighs. Push it against your thighs and try to resist against that towel, reaching back slightly with the arms. So if I didn't have the towel, my arms would go whoop, flying backwards, right? So we're using the resistance of the towel here. Arms reach forward, inhale. Exhale, press it. Inhale, exhale to press. Inhale, getting taller. Maybe engage your glutes a little bit. Ooh, how about that? We just used them, so might as well use them. Again, reaching forward and pressing back. Trying to draw your belly in to give your spine space. Good, one more, 
Press. Now we're gonna keep this little press. It's like a little pulse. Pulse. It doesn't look like much, but I feel my back, I feel my triceps working, I feel my abs working for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I have to take a layer off. Now the sun is up and I'm hot. So we're gonna take our towel now and reach it in front of us, but now the palms are up, palms forward. And I'm really feeling like I wanna pull my towel apart rather than create any slack. So drawing my belly in, shoulders down, pulling that towel apart. This is a game of tug of war. My left arm is gonna win the game of tug of war as I twist slightly to the left and then come back to center. Now my right arm wins as I twist and back to center. My arms are not super high here. They're about halfway between all the way down and straight forward. And press. So the whole goal here is to just do the torso. No, no neck, right? So if you find that your neck is taking over, maybe try repositioning those shoulder blades down your back, draw your navel in, allowing your head to stay right on top of your spine. Couple more. I don't know about you guys, but if you really play the tug of war game, my, your shoulders are gonna feel it. One more in each direction. Great, take that towel now behind you. Palms are facing down, right? So I could open my hands a little bit so I'm not trying to rotate out. Palms are facing down. Now I'm gonna hinge my neutral spine forward. It's as if I could sit back on my heels but I'm not quite gonna make it. And my ribs are still drawing up and in nice and tight. Now I get to try to create a little slack on my towel as my arms move towards each other and then back out. So creating a little slack and then opening back out. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see. Slack and out. Slack and out. Keep going. <laughs> slack and out. Oh my goodness, backs of your arms, right? Belly, torso, back. Everything working for four and three and two. Last one. Keep that slack and little baby pulses up, 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 up for eight, seven. Keep that slack. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Nicely done. Let's drop our towel off to the side. Take your blanket or your pillow out of the way. Nice. And we're going to come back to a seated position. I've got my towel here to help me. Arms are reaching forward. My knees are slightly bent. I'm going to try to sit up as tall as I can. So here are all your beautiful posture muscles that you just found. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale like a balloon deflating. You're going to scoop through your belly. Roll it all the way down. Straighten your legs out. Reach your arms back behind you. Take a moment to let your ribcage flare open. So this is a nice moment to relax and stretch and open. Then pull your ribs down. Start to float those arms up. And here we go. We're going to scoop into our belly and roll right back up. Coming back up to seated, lift it up tall. Exhale like a balloon deflating. All the way down. Reach the arms back, stretch it out. And close the ribs as the arms float back up. And roll yourself back up. Peel that spine off of the mat. And sit it up tall. Here we go a little bit quicker. Let's exhale, roll it down. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, lift it up tall. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale, reach. 
And last time, exhale, oh, roll it up. Okay, from here, roll back just behind your tailbone for me. So I'm staying scooped in my belly, but I'm trying not to collapse, right? So I'm scooped, but I'm also slightly lifted. And we're just gonna row here. So it's like you're, you've got a, um, a paddle, right? And we're dipping it into the water and then dipping it into the water. Ellen, I almost wore my Dragon Heart shirt today, that fiery red shirt to get me all fired up this morning. So channeling your inner rower here, <laughs> finding those rotations through the spine. If this bothers your back at all, you can always stay a little bit more upright with this and cross your legs. Just as valuable to try to get that rotation and lift through the spine. Otherwise, you're hanging out right behind that double bone, trying to draw the abs in rather than let them pooch out. Using your breath. One more on each side. <sighs> Twist. Good. From here, we're going to roll back now to about the bottom tips of our ribs. Okay? If this bothers your neck and head, you can always rest the head down. Totally fine. Otherwise, we're going to keep it floating. Arms are going to reach up to the ceiling. Exhale. Touch your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. If your head is down, I invite you to bring one leg up to a march. So you have lots of options here. If you're sticking with me, I know it's kind of intense. We're almost done. For three, two, and one. Oh, let's roll it all the way down. Reach the arms back behind you. Stretch the legs out long. Just allow your head to be heavy here, the ribs to flare open. One more big breath in. Exhale out. And the towel goes back behind the neck and skull again. Okay, so going into a little bit more oblique work now for crisscross. So this version of crisscross is going to be different than some of you are used to. I'm going to try to keep my neutral spine now. So my sacrum is truly the heaviest part of my pelvis rather than tucking. Okay. From here, I'm going to go ahead and scoop up, draw my right leg to tabletop, and twist my torso to the right. Yep. And then come back down. Let's stay on that same side for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to stay here. Go ahead and send your right leg out and draw it in. Right leg out, draw it in. Beginners, you can stay here. Intermediate, advanced, send your left leg out and we switch, but my torso is staying to the right. Don't worry, we're going to get to the other side in a minute. Almost there. Four, three, and two, and one. Rest it down. Okay, I felt my abs. Let's try the other side. So we're going to twist to the left now with the torso. Left leg, left knee floats up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, almost there, one. We're gonna stay up and we're just gonna extend that left leg, pull it in. Extend it, pull it in. More advanced, reach that right leg out and you switch, switch. Switch, almost there. Let's go for four and three. Keep curling up even though you're twisted. Two, oh my gosh, it's so hard. And one, rest it down. Nicely done. Open your arms out to a T position. Swivel your knees to the right and swivel them to the left. 
So imagine your shins are like windshield wipers and they're just swiping side to side. And extend arms and legs away from each other. Let's go ahead and roll the spine up. So fingertips come forward, scoop through the belly, roll yourself all the way up. Let's reach for our toes. Find a little brief hamstring stretch here. Breathing into your back. Some of you who are really flexible might even, you know, bring your elbows down to the floor. Okay, little saw action. So we're gonna revisit our sequential movement through the spine. Couple more minutes and then we're done. So my legs are about the width of my mat. Arms are reaching out to the side, but they're staying slightly in front of me. So I'm gonna start with the movement of my eyes and my head. So my eyes go to the right, my head goes to the right. Then my torso goes, trying to spin around this barbershop pole, around through the center of my spine. Let's exhale here to twist, twist, and come back to center. To the left, leading with your eyes. So eyes go left, head goes left, torso goes left. Twisting around, we exhale and come back to center. And again, to the right, eyes, head, torso, exhale. <sighs> Sitting up as tall as you can, back to center. And to the left, eyes, head, torso, exhale. <sighs> Let's go a little bit quicker, center. So we twist, eyes, head, torso, <sighs> center. Eyes, head, torso, <sighs> Center, one more time each direction. Eyes, head, torso, back to center. Eyes, head, torso, and come back to center. Very good, relax. We're gonna swing our legs around and end with a psoas stretch today. Really important, especially if you're sitting more than you might um, normally be right now in your life. So we're gonna take our right leg forward to the outside of our right hand. Sneak your left leg back and let your pelvis gently drop towards the floor. That should give your hip flexor a pretty nice stretch. If you feel like you could use more of a stretch, bring your right forearm to your right knee. Sweep your right, sorry, left arm up towards the ceiling. And tip your torso slightly to the right. Come on back down, placing both hands down, reaching your right leg back. Left foot comes forward to the outside of the left hand. Go ahead and drop your pelvis down. If you need to sneak that right knee back a little bit in order to let the pelvis drop down and do so. Giving your right hip flexor and your right psoas a big stretch here. Taking a couple breaths. If you feel like you could use more of a stretch, your left forearm comes to your left thigh. I'll face you guys so you can see. And reach your right arm up. And if you feel like you could use even more of a stretch, side bending to the left. So towards the knee that's bent. And coming back down, placing both hands back on the floor, taking that leg back. Go ahead and end with a couple cat backs. Let's exhale, curl. Inhale to extend. Exhale to curl. And inhale to extend. It should feel like you're a little more supple than you were when you started. One more. Sit back towards your heels, roll on up. One more big breath, sweeping the arms out to the side. Inhale, 
and exhale. Thank you all for being here. And thanks to all the Vermonters who showed up. Woo -woo. So happy you came. <laughs>